Today, I'm gonna be making famous logos spooky. <laughs> If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of fun stuff with logos. So if you are into graphic design, I would definitely recommend subscribing to the channel. We do a lot of fun things here, like this current series we're working on, where I give logos spooky redesigns. I got this idea because last year around Halloween time, Krispy Kreme, I saw change their logo from Krispy Kreme to Krispy Scream and they kind of changed up the whole font and color palette and that really got my brain going about all these other puns that I think famous brands could make and change their logo to for Halloween or even like Christmas or New Year's or things like that. I decided to make some of these logos last year on TikTok and I loved how a lot of those came out. I've been reposting them on shorts this year if you've seen them um, and on my last two lives I decided to make eight more new ones that I'm gonna show you in this video. And I really just wanted to show you all how I made these, talk about the puns that we decided on for these, um, and also just kind of go through my favorite ones. And first, without further ado, we're gonna go with Dread Lobster. So for this one, I decided to make the Red Lobster logo basically look like it was a dead lobster carcass. So to do this, I found some references and then in Procreate, I just basically started drawing um, the lobster as if each of its pieces was kind of like pulled apart um, as if it had gotten, been decaying over time. And I decided to kind of make the whole thing really like this bone yellowish brown color. Um, and then I gave that whole thing an outline and then I brought that into Illustrator and I changed the font on it to be, this top one is called Blood Soul for the Dread Lobster part. And then for the bottom part, it said Fresh Fish Live Lobster. And at first I had just typed that out in this font called Raiden King, but then I decided it would be funny to name it Rotten Fish Dead Lobster. So I did all that and here's that one all complete. Honestly, this one ended up being one of my favorite logos I've ever made. I'm just so proud of myself for how that dead lobster looks and the different colors and the shading and everything. And I also think it looks really good with these fonts I chose. So this one is definitely a highlight from today. I love the name, I love the look, I love everything about it. And next one is Ben and Scary's. So for this one, the Ben and Jerry's logo, on some of it has this little cute ice cream cone next to it. Sometimes it doesn't, but I decided to keep that one on this one and make it really look like the ice cream was kind of filled with all these creepy things, make it instead of pink, red, so it kind of simulated like blood or gore a little bit. But I also wanted to keep it playful, so I did things like add in little eyeballs and little teeth and little fingernails and bones sticking out, but I wanted it all to look not super gory, more like cartoon gory. So I did all that again in Procreate, then I brought it into Photoshop and Illustrator and I found this font called Zombie. Typed that out, I really liked this font because it was big and blocky, very similar to the original Ben and Jerry's font. And I put that all together and here is the final result. Again, this one is so cute. I could actually, Ben and Jerry's does a lot of puns with the flavors of ice cream. So I could really see them doing something like this on their actual packaging, like around Halloween time. I'm sure they actually have some spooky flavors. So why not also change the logo if you're gonna change the flavors? Just a thought. Up next is Duncan, which obviously we're calling pumpkin. <laughs> And for this one, my idea really was to just take out the D in Duncan and put a P in. I did this in Photoshop and then I put it all into Procreate on my iPad. And this one was really fun to just, I just wanted to make all the letters look like little pumpkins. It is difficult because pumpkins kind of go like this and stop at the, so the top and the bottom kind of has like little divots in it. Wait, let me, okay, I found this. This is a, just a, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi too? Okay, everyone wants to say hi. Basically I have this pumpkin decoration and as you can see, it goes from the top and then there's like a divot in the bottom. 
Um, but the problem with a lot of these letters is there's no clear top and bottom. So it made it really difficult to figure out where the top and bottom were on it. So I kind of had to improvise and make some bottoms be there when they really wouldn't be there if this was a real pumpkin. But I think the overall look of what I did looks like pumpkins. And I added some stems to only a couple of them so that it didn't look like overwhelmingly stems. And here is that one finished. I love how it came out. I do think the pink little pumpkin kind of looks a little bit like a bell pepper, like a pink bell pepper or like a red bell pepper. But overall, I'm really happy with how it looks. And I think this one's just like really cute. And again, I could see them doing this. I will note on a lot of these, I'm kind of giving these black outlines and making them kind of imperfect because I think that adds to the kind of creepiness, spookiness vibe of it all. Um, and that's also kind of my general illustration style if I'm drawing something like a tattoo or just sketching or something like that. Up next, I went with BooTube. I actually did this one for a YouTube Shorts creator event. It was a lot of fun. I met a lot of cool other creators that I collabed with. And this one was something I created when I went to the YouTube headquarters that day. So I basically just redrew the logo on my iPad and I wanted to make it look like the red part of the play button had like draped over the play button and made it kind of like a ghost outfit, but out of that red instead of white. So I did that in Procreate, brought that again into Photoshop and I found this cool font called Dark Mode and here's that one all complete. I don't know that they would necessarily change the font this drastically because I feel like the YouTube logo, the font is a big part of it, but I could see them doing something like this for the little icon in the top left corner of the website because they change that pretty often, I feel like. Next, I did Shell, which I named Hell. And this one I just had a lot of fun with making it look like the Shell logo was a devil. So again, in Procreate, I gave him little horns. I gave him that like widow's peak that a lot of devils have for some reason whenever you look it up on Google. And then I gave it a little goatee and finally that tail with the little spike on the end of it. And this one came out so cute. I also added in a font called Flame to the bottom just to really hit home that we're in hell. And I love this one too. I think all of these, I really like all these because they it really shows my illustration style. And you don't really get to see that a lot of times in my logo redesigns, just because I'm doing them on Photoshop and Illustrator and it really doesn't, there's not really opportunities for me to do that. Whereas this one really lends itself to these kind of illustration styles that I do. Up next I did Dairy Cream. No, <laughs> next I did Scary Queen. And my idea for this one was that red shape of the Dairy Queen logo kind of looks like lips to me. And so my idea was to kind of make it look like a vampire mouth and also give reference to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I think technically their logo has the lips, but also at the beginning of the movie, it starts with just a pair of lips singing the first song. Did this one in Procreate again, and I wanted it to look like, again, that kind of drawn illustration look. It took me a minute to get the shape of the lips right, um, but eventually I really, really liked it. And I kind of added in a little bit of gloss since she is supposed to be a queen. <laughs> and then to get the rest of the look, I just put it into Photoshop. I ended up changing the color of one of the swooshes to make it more like Halloween colors. And I added in this font called Halloween 2, and I made it say SQ for Scary Queen. And I really like how this one looks at the end of it all. I don't know that it's necessarily the most practical logo, since you would have to know that the S stood for scary instead of dairy, but I really like it overall. It definitely achieved exactly what I wanted it to though in the end of the day. And I think they should lean into these lips a little more often. Like they could also use it for like Valentine's Day or something like that. Up next I have Golden Corral instead of Golden Corral. Uh, this one I didn't really do too much. I just kind of changed the font and the text obviously, and then overall color of everything. So I, found this cool font called Black Demon, and I actually love, love, love the font. I don't know that the colors necessarily go together. I tried to find Halloween colors that weren't just black and orange, but overall, I think this one's mostly just funny because of the name, and I really like the font. And last, I did Hide instead of Tide. The idea behind this one was the Tide logo is kind of like a target, 
And when I started thinking about targets and like creepy targets, for some reason, the cheeks of Jigsaw from Saw came to my mind. And I really was like, oh, I could easily just make that target be the spiral and then put the word hide on it. So I had done that. Again, I did this in Procreate because I wanted it to look kind of like uneven because those spirals just kind of look drawn on. And once I had done this, I realized that it was a little too not obvious what I was trying to do. So I ended up drawing Jigsaw's eyes behind the cheek swirl to be kind of like he's hiding behind the logo. Um, and then I brought that into Photoshop and I added this really cool font called Dark Falcon, which I really like because it already has that kind of italicized movement that the original Tide logo has. So I just had to make the H a little bit bigger than I'd and here's that one all complete. I don't necessarily think that the jigsaw aspect of it is my favorite thing I've ever added to a logo, but I think this one looks creepy at the end of the day, which is what we're going for. Well, that is all of them all complete. This is a really fun series to make. I'm sad October is coming to an end because I just really love making these spooky logo videos. I think coming up, I'll probably try to make some Thanksgiving and Christmas ones or holiday themed ones again. Um, and as far as today's go, I think I would probably say Dread Lobster, you already know, is one of my favorites. I also love the name Ben and Scaries and Pumpkin came out really cute. And then I also think that Hell looks really, really cute as a little devil shell. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for any spooky logos. We still have a couple days left in October, so if you have any really good puns, I can definitely try to make a couple into another video. And yeah, that is it for this one. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with any friends, and let me know in the comments, like I said, if you have any ideas for more spooky logos. Thank you for watching. I have an idea.